Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a common issue that many Spring Boot developers encounter. Our viewer asks, why doesn't my Spring Boot application commit changes to the database when using repository.save? Let's break down the situation. Our viewer has a Spring Boot application integrated with JPA and MySQL. They can successfully call repository.save in their controller and return the created or updated object. However, when they check the database, the changes are not reflected. What could be going wrong? Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully get to that resolution. Now, let's get on to the video. The first step in troubleshooting your issue is to ensure that your transaction management is correctly configured. In Spring Boot, transactions are typically managed automatically, but you may need to explicitly annotate your service method. Next, let's verify that your database connection is properly set up. Ensure that the database URL, username, and password in your application YML file are correct and that the database is accessible. Additionally, check if the entity you are trying to save is in a valid state. Ensure that all required fields are populated and that there are no validation errors. Finally, review the logs for any errors or warnings that might indicate why the transaction is not being committed. You can enable SQL logging in your application.yml to see the executed queries. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. The issue might be related to the at user can cut annotation you're using. The speaker tested a similar setup and it worked fine. If there's anything else missing or unclear, feel free to ask for more help. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To ensure your object is saved in Spring Boot with JPA and Hibernate, you need to set up the correct JPA configurations and repository. For example, create a user entity and a user repository. Here's a simple user entity class with fields like ID, username, email, and password. Make sure to include getters and setters. Next, create a user repository that extends JPay repository. This allows you to perform CRUD operations easily. Finally, implement a user service that uses the user repository to save the user object. By following these steps, your object should be saved successfully. For more details, check the link provided. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer.
the user shares a solution for issues with Spring Boot, JPA, and Hibernate not committing on repository save. They mention using separate controllers for read and write repositories with different databases for each. They explain that both repositories extend CRUD repositories and can access the save method. However, using the read repository to save was silently ignored without an error. The takeaway is to ensure you're using the right repository for save or update operations to avoid this issue. And that's it guys. I hope we found the solution you're looking for. And look, if we did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.